So our mission is to feed people. We feed millions of people from our facility, and that's an important role, obviously, making sure that people are fed and that they're taken care of. I got interested in this job really because I was looking for an opportunity to lead and manage a group of people that really had a common mission and worked hard and had the opportunity to do that here at CNS. Working for CNS is one of the most rewarding things you can do from a career perspective. From a leader, CNS challenges you in every way. From being able to influence properly, being able to answer from a call center perspective to your superiors, and being able to look the customer in the eye and say, this is what we can do for you, and then deliver. I started off in sanitation. I worked through selection. Um, I showed that I was capable of, of doing high quality work. I was very good at working with people and developing them. And I took on a role as operations supervisor. A lot of our management team, starting from our trainers to supervisors to managers, they all started off on the, the selector level. So they know what you're going through. They're going to give you the support to succeed. And we want you to advance within the company. I'm a perfect example for it. So I started 2006 as a selector. So they gave me the opportunity to grow. And now I'll be able to pass that on and other people, they're willing to train and willing to take CNS as a career, not as just as a single job. It's been a privilege to have great leadership, people that believe in you and that see your potential. They give you that opportunity to grow. Not a lot of places that I've been at have given you that opportunity or seen that potential and is willing to invest that time in you. So every day it's just great to work under, under great mentors and also be a mentor to people myself. A typical day for me begins in the morning when I walk in, I greet the employees in the cafeteria, see how everybody's feeling. From there I go to the office, I get my, get my day ready by setting up the load for the teams. I start there, I start giving a nice pre-shift meeting. If it's a big billing, get it pumped up like, all right, it's a big money day, guys. You know, we gotta get, gotta get pumped. Put it in their head, so like, all right, all right, guys, we, have, we can work harder and make more money today. Good job. Have a great day. Send them out, and then you watch them throughout the day, making sure, you know, no little bumps here and there, make sure everything's smoothly as possible. Get them in, get them out the same exact way. Everybody's opinion matters and everybody's opinion counts. So we have several committees. As an example, the governor's committee, which is comprised of a cross-pollination of selectors, forks, loaders, clerks, so that we can continue to move forward with what our people want to see from the leadership team. I would expect a supervisor to build a friendly working relationship with all employees on a daily basis to understand each personality is different. No two people are the same. So how you approach people one way might not work for the next. So I'm, I get, like to get personal with them. And then, you know, if anything bothers them at home, I can help as much as I can to make sure this day goes as smoothly as possible and they're having a good time while they're making money. We work as one team. Um, so that value is very important to us. We have five different businesses within our four walls here. Um, and it's very important that our business leaders collaborate well. All the decisions that are made uh, are made with thinking of one another and working as one team. Continuous improvement is a part of what we do here at CNS. This business is a slim margin type business, so we always have to, to get better from an operational standpoint, but we also need to get better from a, a standpoint of taking care of our employees. I think we can always improve upon that um, and make it a better work environment and make our communities around us even better than they are today. So we live here, we work here, uh, we want this to be a great place for people to, to work and live. So we continuously strive to do that in all that we do. Leading people is the most fulfilling part of my job, period, right? I'm in the game for one reason, that's to impact people positively while holding them accountable, right? Giving them the tools to do their job and to do it well, making sure they have the right training and then unleashing them, empowering them to do their job absent of micromanagement. Myself as a supervisor, especially being here for Almost 14 years, seen individuals that I trained, worked with since day one that they started, and I'm happy to see them move up on roles from leads to trainers to supervisors. When you walk by them and they mention you, that's the supervisor that helped me out when I first started out. It's very rewarding. We do work hard, 
uh, but we also like to play hard, uh, enjoy our time together, and have an opportunity to do something that's really important, and that is making sure that there's food on the table for people, not only during the holidays, but also every day when people sit down to have a meal together. It's an important role that we serve, and we're proud of what we do here.